Hello tacticians and strategists, admirals and generals, welcome back to Strategic Mind, the Pacific and playing hardball and the Battle of Guadalcanal. That is the next mission that we will have here. Guadalcanal is actually here, part of the Solomon Islands. And just to talk a little bit about the, the bigger strategic picture here, I'm, I'm going to link some interesting sources that I found so far. And as you know, as always, I always like to uh, do some reading. And um, while I like the approach of this game here, Strategic Minds, to put everything into a wider narrative, um, of course, they don't... Uh, you know, they, they don't uh, make it a history lesson or anything, um, which I find always a little bit uh, sad because it's a missed chance, but they do much more than other games. So I'm really happy in so far. So uh, I really think that this game is a step into the right direction. So we are here in our HQ again. Let's just remind ourselves, by the way, I like it that they changed the color here. So we, we, we won the last battle uh, of New Guinea and now we have all control, but let's uh, not forget like in real history, th so we are here in a fantasy world now, um, in real history the Japanese never took all of New Guinea. So like here the southern part always remained under American and Australian uh, control. So and the next battle uh, the battle for Guadalcanal was actually a campaign that uh, took a number of months um, in 1942 until the end of 1942, if I'm not mistaken here. Um, and uh, uh, this campaign saw some major battles uh, during the night, carrier battles, major naval engagements and the first huge allied land invasion yeah, with marine forces and it happened like this the americans uh, landed on guadalcanal and surprised the uh, outnumbered japanese troops there and pushed them back into the jungle and they started to erect an airfield or like to to build an airfield called henderson field um, and then the japanese attacked and uh, yeah the area changed hands a number of times if I'm not mistaken and I already did some reading here and it's very interesting however unfortunately uh, I couldn't find so far anything about the Japanese perspective I mean obviously because I don't speak Japanese but if you know anything yeah any translated stuff or so I would appreciate that greatly if you could uh, provide the link in the comment section and I'm sure the community would appreciate that greatly as well so here we are. Let's talk with our guys. Oh yeah, and by the way, sorry. And of course, uh, that battle happened because uh, the United States or the Allied forces did not want the Japanese here with the opportunity to threaten all the supply lanes and communication lines between Australia and the United States, right? So that's the strategic issue here. And uh, the whole battle was lost by Japan in the end. They had to withdraw after losing considerable forces. Um, but that also led to the notion, the Allied notion, that uh, fighting against the Japanese uh, who would rather um, kill themselves or rather die in, uh, in suicide attacks, basically, like charging with these Banzai attacks, we know them from our guys here, right? The Banzai charges. They would rather charge into machine gun fire, which is, of course, rather suicidal. Um, and you shouldn't do that if you're infantry <laughs> charging into uh, automated weapon fire. And that's one of the reasons why they lost, of course, because their death toll was so high. Yeah, but that scared the Americans, I guess, and the Allied forces were not willing to uh, yeah, sacrifice so many men, which is why, you know, this was one of the first battles where, where they lost like around 6,000 men and another 6,000 wounded or so. 
um, while most of the uh, Japanese troops were actually killed, they only ca the Allied forces only captured an, a few of them because they just wouldn't surrender. And uh, this experience repeated itself at Okinawa and Iwo Jima, for example, which uh, the Americans wanted to take so they could send fighter escorts with their bombers to Japan. Yeah, and the Japanese fighting spirit uh, wasn't even broken, broken um, after significant bomber raids that turned Tokyo, the Japanese capital, that was mainly built of wooden houses, uh, to ashes. Yeah, so they killed like a hundred of thousands of, of people there, but that didn't even break them. And that actually leads us to a better understanding why the United States actually used the atomic bomb. Yeah, because most likely the Japanese would just not have given up. They would have said, okay, well, then come to our island and then you will have to pay hundreds of thousands uh, of soldiers or of soldier lives. Um, and let's see if you're willing to do that, right? So, I mean, but of course, there are also historical voices who think that uh, the bombs had been used to impress the Soviet Union. That was also quite aggressive, aggressive, of course. So that's so much for the bigger picture. So now we fight here in the Solomon Islands, Guadalcanal. Um, and I think that will be very interesting. And if the Japanese make it here. So actually, I think like this map is possibly not correct here because it would mean that we have control of all of this, right? But the next one is is here, Battle of Guadalcanal, and we'll see a naval battle and landing operations. So, combat the US fleet and hold Guadalcanal and the Tulagi Islands against any enemy landing. So, which means that we'll have to do a lot with our units. But let's talk to our two officers here first, Nagumo. The Battle of Midway has shown the superiority of our Navy over the Americans. However, the war is not over yet. In order to ensure victory in the battles to come, the Navy must constantly introduce the newest military technologies. One such weapon is our Akizuki-class destroyer, which is fitted with dual-purpose guns capable of firing not only at ground and naval targets, but also on air targets. Introducing it into service would significantly increase our escort ship's anti-aircraft capabilities. That sounds excellent, and that's what we are going to do. So we will actually modernize our destroyer fleet. And Ugaki, what say you? Our naval military doctrine calls for defeating the enemy fleet in a decisive battle before establishing full control over the ocean. However, the same goal can be achieved by landing marine troops and methodically capturing enemy strongholds, island by island. Each of those islands can not only serve as a supply base for the Navy, but also as an unsinkable carrier-like operation threatening any enemy forces hundreds of miles around it. Yeah, those are good thoughts. However, who doesn't rule the waves can't supply those islands in the first place. And that was actually the American strategy to isolate to this island hopping and only really to uh, conquer those islands that were strategically important yeah, and just otherwise just cut off the others and the Japanese there were just starving. So we heard that. Let's firstly check out before we uh, go into the unit management. Let's check out not only our beautiful chest. <laughs> so we are it's really filling up here. So we got the um, I think this one here, right? Grand Cordon of the Grand Order of the Orchid Blossom and the Order of the Golden Kite Fourth Class, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, I think, or maybe Order of the, uh, Order of the German Eagle, I'm not so sure when we got which, but uh, it's all fine. So, and the big question is, now that we have excellently trained troops, by the way, uh, quite uh, an opposite to the real world history because the Japanese had uh, had huge problems uh, in training their pilots and they couldn't really and, and their other uh, personnel especially the technical crews uh, for their ships 
Uh, so they, like, strategically, they uh, fell more and more behind. Yeah. So, but we are in this digital reality, we are a little bit smarter there. So we've invested into a good training program right from the beginning. And uh, the big question is, what do we get? So I want to upgrade our units and make them better. However, we also need a little bit more firepower, I think, which is why I want to uh, uh, actually buy a new cruiser. But I also think that the naval artillery is very, a very uh, important factor. And with another cruiser, it is even more important. Or, well, we have even more damage potential, right? Which is why I think that we have, now that we have 400 victory points, let's invest actually both shots that we have at naval artillery so like this and then after that it costs only eight command points for an additional barrage and then we have we will have three ships three capital capital ships that can use that and uh, that could give us a very nice advantage i think and this will also ensure that we can use this one as often as possible so but next after the next battle i really want to go into modernization and optimization yeah <laughs> for sure let's hope nothing else happens so here the, we can upgrade or well, let's firstly have a look so what else is there of course it would be great to have a new cruiser this one here it's it's way better but it's also rather costly with 3000 200 and i'm i'm not sure if we can actually afford that shokako would also be good to upgrade because we heard that our damage control is actually very bad on our carriers we, we probably only got very lucky during the midway battle that uh, they didn't catch any any si uh, significant fire um, but that's also I mean, not super expensive, but let's see. And we see that we have this Asuki class here. A new destroyer, a new type of destroyer. And that's what I like. We are going, we are developing ourselves into the right direction. I would also, however, like something like a light cruiser or something that could probably have two of these dual purpose gun batteries. I would like that very much. And that could have something like an anti-aircraft screen like the carriers have, like a long range anti-aircraft screen, but they can shoot for four as well. So it could be pretty good, which is why we are going to upgrade all of our destroyers with that. Yeah, And it's not super expensive either. So I think that's a good investment. And then we do have a new submarine available. That one is way bigger and significantly more powerful if we look at the stats so four at uh, four more attack two more defense on everything however we see we don't have this one doesn't have the seaplane anymore and that's actually very bad because i really like the seaplane so and otherwise there's nothing new the the new zero fighter we already have with everyone so let's firstly acquire units. What I want to have is actually another submarine. So we have four. So we have four submarines and let's have one Mogami class, the cheapest heavy cruiser. I mean, it's a little bit outdated, but the others are too expensive, I find. And uh, I want to have, like after the last battles, when we uh, encounter so many destroyers i think it's very useful to have something some more ships with an armor deck so we can neutralize their firepower so i think that's probably a very good investment um, and then we are going to upgrade all our destroyers to the new akisuki version so then we can see this is really really good just for 100 oh well wow. that's the newer yugumo of course yeah, here we can see. I think that's really worthwhile, especially for the, the dual purpose gun. So that's really a good, very good investment, I think. 
so it's that for everyone like so and like so Kageros that's 190 but we have still 900 left and then I think like our superhero here Mohitsura Hashimoto I mean he does have forward observer um, which means that yeah I mean he, he will be more uh, in contact with the enemy anyway but well all of the uh, submarines will be but uh, with him I think with him we could actually upgrade yeah, I think that's significant firepower with that but the other stayed the older version because I want to have the seaplane I think that's really useful although arguably we now have another heavy cruiser that also comes with seaplanes but we only have three of them available so but now we have 600 points for new equipment so and that's what I want to have and by the way we'll have a look um, at this year so so this is the kamikaze aircraft squad and I have to admit guys I like the midway battle so much I played it again off camera this time with a different strategy so as you remember I forgot to or actually I messed up the uh, unit allocation so like having like one or two more destroyers in the south to engage the enemy there but I also uh, I didn't get a third carrier that time I tried it out with the uh, with another heavy cruiser but uh, the outcome was more or less uh, comparable I mean of course I didn't care so much for every single move I just uh, smashed through it basically and uh, the whole thing cost a little bit more prestige but not overly so um, so the outcome was rather comparable actually so I think we did pretty well last time yeah and uh, I think that having three crew uh, three carriers is also really good to have the number of planes in the air but of course now we we don't have uh, the resources for another plane but that we can do maybe during uh, during the next mission or something or, or after the this mission here I think then we are going then we will have some more planes although I would like to have one more dive bomber right now but I think we are fine so and this kamikaze squad I didn't try it out but I did try out this kamikaze meant torpedo squad so like this uh, midget submarine that the Japanese used but that actually was also rather underwhelming uh, it was basically just like a normal torpedo attack yeah um, but I mean of course it's an additional attack but uh, it costs 400 yeah and uh, you only have two attacks so in my opinion it's really not worth it also I find I don't I find it rather unethical to send people as kamikaze yeah like as uh, suicide attackers although like from the military perspective of course you know you you condemn one person to death for sure and you have a good chance to cause a significant damage if the person uh, accomplishes his um, mission of course uh, while uh, getting the same damage in you know with more planes more ships would cost more lives all in all yeah but still it's the thing you take away any chances of survival of that one person well if you attack with more people everybody has a chance yeah so that's what I like better and yeah I think like uh, here resource wise it's uh, it's most likely not worth it but I mean maybe during or oh not stationary equipment I just wanted to say like during the uh, the the mission we could probably get it and install it but I think it's really it's probably never worth it for this price of prestige yeah? and I feel we are not that desperate anyway so 
That being said, let's just upgrade our stuff normally. I also tried out this Dazzle Camouflage. And by the way, we do have something new here. The Depth Charge Projector. That's, gr that's good. A, a great defensive thing against submarines. So I guess it's like a catapult or something. Uh, that, sh that throws the uh, our barrels, our depth charges, further away or something because we have a longer gun range um, with it, or like an, an engagement range, which is why I think that we can have this one very nicely on a destroyer that we will have in a more defensive role, right? However, they are all overwatching and scouting so maybe we should take one that is going to be the defender that is that's uh, although actually i think that all of them should have evasive maneuvering first anyway yeah so let's let's just have one guy it doesn't really matter which one but maybe here you you can have the depth charge projector for 100 and let's actually let's everybody should get the dazzle camouflage so that's what i just wanted to say during the night this actually or during rain this gives a very nice advantage because we can if we come from outside radar range i think um the enemy or we can attack the enemy uh, like with the surprise attack yeah so they can't really get any uh, damage in and then so far that's actually a good thing so we get a free shot yeah basically without uh, suffering any hull damage ourselves so and now we are down at 18 which is not good i mean maybe these guys here who are more in a defensive role maybe they don't need it because I also want to have some more stuff here on the, yeah, on our uh, submarines. And by the way, I want to have this one. I want to have, have the torpedo here, so it looks better. There we go, and you get a better torpedo as well. So now we are down at 18. Can we actually get anything from anyone? Let's discard the equipment here. I think, although I think actually like for the land battle, we should have one attacker, one tank, but I'd rather use our Chiha tank, not only for propaganda reasons, but um, the, it's, it's better against soft attacks, right? And I would think that we encounter more soft targets on the island than tanks, enemy tanks. And if we encounter tanks, we will rather bomb them from the air. I think that's uh, way better anyway. Um, so then, oh yeah, and you guys, we found a radar. So let's rather use that because then it's our own. We don't have to invest the prestige. Here, this one that's the basic truck right yeah okay that's good and actually i think we are only deploying one heavy artillery so we can discard all this stuff here and we will keep our troops light as always but maybe the one troop that has the most experience or they are all yeah, all at two okay um, so maybe these guys with the forced march. Oh no, they, we will deploy them for sure. So let's give them the browning, which is actually way better than our heavy machine gun. And that way we also save another 10 prestige, which now leaves us at 218. So, and I would like to have some more planes with radar equipped. Very good, you don't need bombs right now. Oh, and there's a new torpedo, by the way. This one, the three, so it's, uh, it puts us even in a better position. 
Oh yeah, it has three. That's actually four rings. Yeah, it's four. It's the four version. Or the, the three version has only two rings, but someone couldn't really count, apparently. So this here, that's certainly a good investment, I think. So our planes are not that that much in trouble, so let's have yeah it would be great to have anti-aircraft radar on these guys as well um, yeah but I think our planes are actually doing fine in comparison to our anti-aircraft so let's rather have another torpedo bomber and the one that has the most experience you guys the air, another aircraft radar. Oh yeah, nice. And we have even 78 more prestige points. But we might want to have another submarine, maybe with improved optics. Oh, that's 100. And um, yeah, it's also cost 100. Torpedoes 100. It would be great to have the, the torpedoes and the destroyers. That would be very effective but they are pretty expensive yeah and now we don't i mean all uh, all subs have better torpedoes so it's fine i think it's fine we can live with this but there's nothing else that we could donate to anybody else so i think we are just putting one more radar on one Lane. and let's put it on these guys they have slightly more experience and all the weather and um, well they have sealed the deal so they will be the ones that attack last and then that means that the enemy uh, should be messed up already slowed down engine failure and stuff so their shot would actually be the easiest one. So they they should be the ones that uh, don't need additional help. So that's my thinking. Now we are down at eight prestige points. So I think that's fine. So let's level up our guys. We get of course overpower and rip the hull because your job is to hamper the destroyers then we have another submarine so our guys have torpedo expert and evasive maneuvering and I think evasive maneuvering is a must in case someone attacks us and torpedo expert is also important so we make the most of our attack otherwise no one else has a level so we are good to go all right yeah 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 I think it's fine and I think we are going to deploy both anti-air guns yeah maybe not all not all of the infantry yeah let's see maybe we can get rid of something so maybe like you guys, like you guys, let's get rid of the Sepa squad and this one here. That leaves us with 48. And this Riku Sentai. That leaves us with 83. 83. So maybe, I oh know, I want to have the choice with, with both uh, with both uh, ammo types, just in case, so they uh, they don't get the diesel. We can we can put the diesel camouflage on someone? But actually, like our big guys don't need it, and I don't want to uh, shoot at any ship that can shoot back anyway. So this is 83. Yeah, it's fine. Which means. With optics is 100 and the, the torpedo is also 100 right yeah ah no sorry 
guys can get the dazzle. So we had one without it. Okay, yeah, that's that's good, I think. So like this. Okay, and if we are in a situation that we should deploy more tanks, I think, yeah, it's not a catastrophe if we deploy one that doesn't have the, the stuff. And by the way, we might earn something anyway, and then we can put a uh, separate squad and uh, something else on them anyway. Maybe some smoke grenades. Right, so that's where we are. Three prestige points left. Let's get into the mission. Nothing is forgotten? No, everything's fine, I think. Everyone is to donate all of their food and provisions to the government for the needs of the Imperial Army and the Navy. That is an order. Our children are starving. What are we supposed to do? Be damned, you indecent traitor. I see you are all gorging the whole day long in here. Thousands of our noble warriors sacrifice their lives on the front lines every day, and you cannot spare a bowl of rice? Come on, quickly! Hand over all of your provisions and food! Are you not patriots? I beg your forgiveness. Please accept my deepest apologies. I thought the war went well. We do not have enough provisions to supply the Navy. What do you mean by, we do not have? With all due respect, Prime Minister, I do not understand. You have plenty of desire to wage war, still... You do not have enough food for the men serving in your Navy? Why is that? We are preparing the mobilization of two more million recruits. They have to be fed as well. Furthermore, the activity of the enemy submarines has increased dramatically. We lose lots of cargo ships with food and other resources. The army is ready to fight on without food if needed. The army can starve all that it wants to, but the navy has to be decently supplied. As the commander-in-chief of the combined fleet, I am responsible for every man serving in the navy. That includes making sure they get their daily ration. Do not fret, Admiral. I am making every possible effort to supply our Navy at a decent level. Urgent news. Americans have started landing operations on Guadalcanal. Immediately, emergency measures are needed. Hmm. That is truly an unexpected turn of events. I will take a flight from Tokyo immediately. Convene the Navy headquarters meeting. There we go. The U.S. Marines have landed on... The news about the enemy troops invading Guadalcanal was a bolt from the blue. It is hard to believe that after eight months of a victorious offensive for our troops, the Americans will counterattack and that might turn the tide of war in their favor. As the area of the Solomon Islands is under the control of the Navy, the defense of Guadalcanal is completely on your shoulders. I will assign some of the army units to your command. However, during the first days of operation, you can count on your forces only. You must defend Guadalcanal at all costs. The destiny of Japan is at stake. For the glory of the Emperor, teach the damned Yankees a lesson. Dump their landing parties into the sea. My fears are coming true. What was thoughtlessly taken as a triumph by many was just the first phase of the war. Admiral Ugaki, what do we know about the situation on Guadalcanal? It is all chaos now. We know that the American Marines have landed in the area of Honiara having seized Henderson Field. Tulagi is also occupied by the enemy. At this point, the landing of enemy troops on Guadalcanal is still in progress. Some units haven't been unloaded yet, and the transports with them are in the Sea Lark Channel. At this point, there is just a small garrison confronting American landing parties. I am not certain it will be able to last long without any support. Then we must provide support and soon. Admiral Nugumo. What forces does our Navy have around Guadalcanal? Just a few destroyers, that's all. Very well then. 
That is enough to attack the enemy transports. Let them begin immediately. As for the combined fleet, it should set a course for Guadalcanal at this very moment. Will do. Although the fleet will be arriving at the area of battle no sooner than a few days. I'm not sure we have that much time. Admiral Ota, are we able to send any marines from the nearest islands to Guadalcanal? We can redeploy the 5th Yokosuka Special Naval Landing Forces from Bougainville. If they hurry, they will arrive in the area in 24 hours. In that case, let them embark onto transports and rush them to Guadalcanal. I hope the island's garrisons will be able to hold out until the reinforcements arrive. Interesting. So the first phase of the, the counter battle actually was, uh, was actually like this. Uh, the um, Japanese forces came through here. I think this was called the spot. Like this channel here came through. Fought a battle, a surprise battle during the night. They passed two destroyers here, so the United States or the, the Allies had uh, actually uh, ships on patrols who were patrolling like this, in this form, uh, and I think like here, like this, they had new destroyers uh, with surface radar, like an early form of surface radar, and they had uh, another detachment that was uh, patrolling in a form like this, like like a, a, like a square, basically, right? A, a square on top. I don't know how it is called in English. In German, it's cargo. Um, you know what I mean, right? Not like with playing cards, like this form to here. So and then they came around, fought around. And then thought, well, there, there could be some carriers around, so let's rather get out of here instead of attacking the transports, actually. And then they got out of there, not knowing that there weren't actually any carriers uh, capable of striking them. So, we'll see what we do and what we find. Um, we are here to deploy. So, we right. have more guns than the entire enemy fleet. Yeah. If you include air country. I hope we run out of ammo well. soon. My sword is thirsty for blood. Okay, let's have a look. So this here is Santa Isabel. We need to seize all the victory hexes. So this one here is under enemy control on the island of Chulagi. This here is Guadalcanal. That is Henderson Field. That is certainly fortified. Yep. It's Tulagi, Anderson Field. Oh, yeah, well, that's all that they have under control this year. Is under Japanese control. However, we only have this infantry there. Or oh, there's infantry here. Okay, so we will pull them forward. We have an anti-aircraft here. Infantry there. They will go on the mountains. And with infantry here that will go there or maybe they should actually stay here because we don't know from where the enemy is coming they could come actually from all directions but we could expect that there's a lot here and possibly around there but we'll check and here this is like all all of this is could be an, under enemy control but obviously not here but they could also already be here on this island which is why I would send some infantry for the island of Malaita as well. And we do have, what do we have here? An anti-aircraft gun. And even a nice 88 millimeter, but nothing else. No infantry. Yeah, so that, let's definitely send something here as well. Well, we probably don't need to reinforce Santa Isabel at this point at least, but it depends what's going to be here. Yeah, well, and our units are a little bit off, indeed. Good day, so, Commander. slowest units in the front. Let's put our two cruisers. There, and also like Haru. I'm in position. You also, you need to be in the front. We are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Systems operation. Like 
there. And by the way, we have the depth charges. Just show us the target. Yeah, we have only one with depth charges. Do you charges. require assistance? Okay. Do you require yeah, I'd like, assistance? I'd like more of those, actually. Kizuki. Submarines. Yeah. Oh, come on. What's what's happening? Your order. No. The Imperial destroyer Over at there. your service. Oh, how you see us? Like this. It works when when you put your the mouse button more in the uh, in the top. Protectors of the fleet. Or, or rather, we go in the middle. We will not let the emperor our down. Carriers there. And we actually we can't deploy so many troops at the moment. But actually, I think like after deploying, and we put them, push them forward. Actually, uh, our units. Um, should be able to be even deployed here in the first row. But just to make sure, also I'm not sure if it costs command points for the deployment on by ship. So let's let's rather deploy guys yes, around here. I obey your orders. Um so let's see. So we, I wanna, we will, we will have to invade this island, obviously. This is clear area where we can land, but that's all. That's that's rough. Okay, so we can land here. And this one here. Forest, forest, rough. There is clear. Okay, so we can only land. Bagare, Heu like very nice paradise islands that so we don't have to mess them up so we can only land here and then we have to walk around and maybe like so to take it and then here we can land here in the shallows where the uh, americans landed themselves i guess but of course we can also let oh there's something oh we can actually put someone here oh that's very convenient oh that's actually a good thing that's actually a really good thing. Um, we have one anti-air there. I want to have our 88 here at Tulagi, so we can put. What am I supposed to do? You guys here, but maybe we are rather going for the infantry. We so are descendants scouts. of the noble samurai. Yeah, I think we should rather go for infantry because this is like all. But we could we could have one artillery here. So Did you see the size component. of our gun? Let's have the artillery there. Oh, that's the small artillery. Okay. Yeah, that's actually very good. Um, Japanese warriors are the most feared and deadly of all. Yeah, so let's have. No, no, I want to have one scout for Chulagi Island. Yes, Commander. So let's bring let's bring our hero in. Let's bring our hero in. And then we can can really fight. Okay, yeah, that's good. So rapid deployment would be good to have air support, but yeah, we have these guys here, and uh, we'll send in our planes very quickly here. anyway. So you go there. Zero here. 
Another zero there. Oh, come on. No. A fighter here. There. Zero there. What should be destroyed next? You go here. Torpedo. Uh, heroes going here. That's our hardball. The sky is like an ocean, and we are its sharks. You there. The weight of our bombs uh. makes me feel more confident. Imperial Air Service. Like so. One, two, three. That's it's questionable who goes where, right? But well, so like this. So then we'll have scouts. We are descendants of the noble samurai. And we'll have flamers. There, these two go for Tulagi Island, and I want to have Riku Sentai. Yeah, let's have the ones with the Browning here for Malaita. Actually, maybe we should have these guys, they are scouts. Actually, maybe we should have the ones with the heavy machine guns here. We will die if necessary. And by the way, let's. Let's call them Ah We see that they are 42 So heavy Heavy Riku Sentai Because they have a big browning So that's fine So these guys They go there Would be good to have infantry with maybe rocket launchers against tanks. Just in case now. That's no, fine. They have, these guys have a higher attack rate against. Yeah. No, I think it should be fine. By the way, we just need to hold the enemy here. Um until our guys are coming so and then we'll bring our the 88 oh, there for Trilagi Island oh well and that's it um, yeah I wanna I definitely wanna reinforce War is our path. this island here there's no infantry there Malaita but we can't deploy anybody there well and so that is the first. That's the first our thing. Our spirit is strong. Our blades are sharp. My life for the emperor. Well then, let's use. We the are descendants of the noble samurai. So like this, and then like uh, as a next wave, we bring our Kohi anti-aircraft guys and uh, our recon our guys uh, as well for the main army. All right, this is how we can roll. Oh, and uh, we serve oh, yeah, there are other guys. Okay, you guys. What do you get? You have already Overwatch planes. So let's have scouting for you. We serve faithfully. They have evasive maneuvering and Overwatch planes. We are ready to sink their ships. We have uh, this submarine. We can't level it up. What do you guys have? Night Hunter and Evasive Maneuvering, okay. We will die if necessary. Regular Infantry, okay. Terrain Expert. So let's give them Veterans of Trenches. War is our path. These guys are there, okay. And they have Veteran Trenches and Terrain Experts. That's actually great here in this rough terrain. Is our path. They are also veterans of trenches, so I think we are pushing them forward. My life for they the are Emperor! Up there, okay. 
and they are defending this island. But this is not a defensive, uh, like not a victory hex, okay? Well, terrain experts, so let's give them veteran of trenches as well. And that's fine. So, and we have only three points of prestige, so we can't give anything to anybody anyway. So, and I think that's it. So, that's all. Let's end the deployment. And there we go. So, what do we see? Ah, yeah. So, there are ships here. Okay. Okay, well, let's do some we recon. We have more guns than the entire enemy fleet. If you include let's aircraft. see if someone is here. Maybe like so. Just to make sure that we are not being greeted. Verifying the enemy's location. I know, but well, I would think. Verifying if the someone is location. here. No, okay, looks clear. Okay, so but there is someone there. Verifying the enemy's let's location. Go like this. They shouldn't see us. Ah, yeah, so there is someone there. Okay, we don't need to find it uh, to see anybody right now because we are not in range anyway. Verify the enemy's location. Ah, yeah. Oh, there is a carrier. Okay. But here everything seems to be free. Okay. So let's have a look here. Verifying the enemy's location. Oh, wow. Lots of enemy forces. Verifying the enemy's location. Okay, and they have ground forces. Uh, yeah, well, it's sink the enemy transport ships okay i think that should indeed be a priority so they do have oh there are tanks okay and we do have three destroyers okay and the submarine here i can't wait any longer that could lurk around so let's uh, let's not waste our command points right now we have an income of 18 now that's great that is great at the moment so here we are just eyeballing we're doing eyeball identification so let's sail there do we see something oh, by the way it's the rain right but the rain isn't we still make out What's going on? What's there? No, but it seems to be fine. The question is, of course, where do they go? Probably not east, but they might come here. And yeah, that's, of course, the big question. Should we defend here, or rather, go inland? But yeah, they have their, their forces there, obviously. That's the big question. The we went forward. Maybe we can actually make a surprise attack. And then... Looking for a break. Let's go there. Like this. I want to go for the carrier and torpedo it. So it's another Yorktown class. So now the Americans are really churning out the carriers their industry has caught up so and now we have three destroyers here let's send let's send our guys uh, in first so first the submarines if they can see something you guys can look for three we go here and then we can also check out if something is there exploring the area And I actually think that we should send someone around like so and so. Although splitting our forces and putting someone at risk would be a very bad idea. 
Yeah, and I mean, uh, there is nothing of interest on this island here. So they are most likely not landing there. But if someone lands there, then here, in this area, we will have under control of our navy anyway. Yeah, I mean, and we don't have so many destroyers. Let's rather concentrate our forces, I think. Finally, some orders. But maybe we should send one sub around. Underwater silence makes me mad. Oh? How'd you see us? Maybe we should send one sub around. But on the other hand, it's not very likely that there's anything here because we have uh, we have this one the the towns under control, and we had our ships here. So if someone is here, then probably more like like here in this area. Yeah. Now let's send one sub. The waves. Better safe than sorry. And let's, makes me mad. let's have you guys. Yeah, no, just a second. We will be victorious. Let's make another. We wanna have. We wanna know more the about Imperial the Fleet enemy. Knows no defeat. So maybe like this. Verify the enemy's location. There's more here, okay. So like this. Verify the enemy's location. Looks like they only have one carrier. I I did one here, right? Well, okay, so then, um, yeah, let's send one sub around. I'm still here. In the eastern part. Looking for a prey. One sub goes around like so, one sub goes around like so, and otherwise our complete fleet goes in here uh, from the north and enters the area from the north. Well, by the way, as we remember, the real Japanese troop movements, they came from here, right? So... Our vessel battleship first. The Good situation is that we are in our supply area. What's this? Where is it red? Cannot be activated. Oh, that's a bit weird. Route? Confirmed. Not that I plan to use them. I'd rather try to maximize our prestige. What's this? Why are you not on a... Ah, there. Okay, well... The weight of our bombs makes me feel more confident. Still here. Silent and deadly. Yeah, side range of two. So well we know that there's nothing here and there like so. The Imperial Fleet knows no defeat. Let's, turn, let's put the carriers first. Operation. You guys go there. Are there new here, orders that from way our we, we also have a very nice uh, anti-air sector. We are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Approaching. You guys sail there. We are the instrument of the Emperor's will. You sail there. Confirmed. So now, who's actually our our destroyer with the uh, with the depth charges? Probably 
one. Your orders. Do you require assistance? I want to rename you one so assistance? I don't have to. Yeah, good. Asuki. Let's call it Defense Aksuki. And then one, two, we can shoot basically at everything. Or oh, well, no, actually, you stay behind. Enemy vessels are lurking nearby. And the other guys. Do you require assistance? Do you require assistance? Start the there. Engine. Entry yeah. the designated area. Would be better to have more ships there with the with this uh, new depth charge. Observing the horizon. That area is under our control. We serve faithfully. Carefully. Your orders. That area is under our control. So this way we have a nice perimeter where where no one can attack us unpunished at least, right? So I'm just, yeah. This. Then something like this. And there. And here. And then actually, like the reserves, yeah. An iron oh yeah, so that's good. what I thought. I miss my so let's bring one tank. one uh, recon and uh, our anti-airs and I think that's that's enough we don't need the other guys I think we can just redeploy so let's say let's stay behind like there Okay, I mean, we, we don't have uh, total control, we don't have enough destroyers, but it's fine, I guess. So now the big question is, of course, I think we should attack them. But let's actually attack these ships first, so they are about to land, and we need to destroy them. Do you require How can we pull this off? Destroyer at your service. This is our destroyer that can go scouting. And we can torpedo them. However, we can't. Your orders. We can't destroy them all, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. But we should destroy as many of them as possible. So that our land fighting has less trouble with them. So I guess this here, our destroyer. Your orders. Yeah, this destroyer is kind of in the way. And we need to prioritize the transport. We serve faithfully. And they can't go there. Well, that's actually not so ideal. The horizon. This is our scout. Searching for the enemy. You sail in like so. You shoot these guys. For Japan. 
and for the Emperor. Done. Who's next? Very good. Yeah, and checking that second. Going like this. You can only take them for four, that's a thing. Your orders. So you guys that sail in there. Our control. And that's it. That's all you can go. Let's appeal this one. And yeah, sorry. Do you require assistance? Engaging in combat. And you guys. Target acquired. Then. Our strength is in numbers of Punch dead in. enemies. Our strength is in numbers of dead enemies. Oh yeah, they're, they're actually blocking us. Engaging in combat. So that's actually less Your than orders. ideal. Ah, but they can go here now. Okay. And one, two, three, four. Your orders. Take this, you dirty rats. I'm in position. So I think I just messed it up. To oh, come on! They didn't destroy them. Oh no, I got unlucky. Okay, then some the guys over there. Yeah, that was really bad. We need to sink them. Oh yeah, very good. Now we can destroy Have the tanks. Our power. Sinking the clear. transports with the tanks. We serve faithfully. Yeah, that's really a waste now. Oh, such a waste. Such a waste. Our strength is in numbers of dead enemies. But well, so these guys there that pierce they are all marines or something. Yeah, we don't really know it. That's the thing. Fletcher class. Your order. So. Yeah, well it's Ooh. okay with these guys. Yes, this one. And sink these guys. We found their weak spot. Oh, that was one hell of a shot. Your order. Okay, we got unlucky there. That this year, this was supposed to be dead. Yeah. Just show us the target. Well then, let's let's sink those guys. I think, and they also, I guess they are, yeah, they are dead. So they are not just damaged. So let's destroy them, and then we have significantly weakened these guys. But I guess that's the Observing best. Observing the do. horizon. First we have managed to crash the American landing parties in the Sealark Channel. No less than half of the troop transports were sunk. Our fleet has accomplished a heroic act. May the Americans know there will be no walk in the park for them on Guadalcanal. Good, we got 100 prestige for that. Observing the horizon. Do you require assistance? We serve faithfully. Your orders. And now they will, of course, mess us up. They have two destroyers, Clemson class. And there, there is a new class of destroyer. If I'm, if I remember correctly, we didn't have any Fletcher before, right? So they also have a bigger, or they have a triple barrel gun. No, but this here, this one's triple barrel. But they don't have one there. Okay. They have eleven six two. And we have. 10, 5, 1, 
4016. Yeah, sorry. For zero sixteen, yeah. So that's an upgraded one. And the Clemson is for zero sixteen, yeah. So the old one, okay. No, it's fine. Do you require assistance? So let's rather keep away. Or maybe, maybe we are hampering them. Oh yeah, maybe we get the if they land here. Maybe we get a reaction shot or something. So let's stay there. That was a bit sad. I actually I wanted to uh, land here uh, or go here to shoot at them with the torpedoes. That way we could have sunk one ship with three torpedoes and then shot at two more. So theoretically we should have been able to uh, sink six with the shots and one more together with the uh, uh, with the torpedoes, right? But the rain, the rain was the issue, and the destroyer was in the way. That's the thing. Yeah, but maybe this I I didn't solve this puzzle correctly. I'm not sure. So let's. Are there new orders from our godly emperor? Or actually. Firstly, let's have a look. If the battleships if are the planes can actually of the Imperial Navy, Island, we are its barely. Party. Okay, well, let's we see. We have more guns than the entire enemy fleet. If you include aircraft, let's have a flyover. Verifying the enemy's location. Oh, ah, yeah. ah, there is. Okay. So actually, I think we should attack those guys. What should be destroyed next? Let's what does the Emperor want us to do? Let's have a zero go in. With this, they can just barely make it, and we have yeah. Let's let's get some bombs for them. So they just break. Let's hope they are fine. Or maybe actually our our hero should All probably hail do it. The, Emperor. the Imperial fleet knows no defeat. So you guys get also bombs. Using bombs, afterburner and overwatch breakthrough. And that's zero five. Excellent. So let's make a daring bombing run. And also, even better, let's think tactically All here. Systems. Where's Operation. our Be careful with the bombs. hero here? So these guys can shoot one, two, three, four, but they only have. So let's fly there. We do there have scouting. Be one, two, three, four, five. Because we have the Air Force Commander, right? Within five hexes, so that uh, increases our damage output further. We carry the further. deadly arrows of the Emperor. The There's sky is like an ocean, and That's we are its five, but fine. So let's fly Bring in. Bring death to the enemies of the Emperor. Using our afterburner and everything. And there's two infantry units otherwise. But nothing else on the island. That's actually a good thing. Good. Now bomb them. They will feel the rain. Very good, and let's bomb them some more. Very good. We have we had first strike. Excellent. And now let's we fly are the back. fastest. Oh no, actually, sorry. We're not flying back. We're going here, just in case. Uh, Yeah. Always first. And you couldn't Be careful actually, with the bombs. Yeah, you can't reach them, huh? Can anybody reach the infantry? Are there new orders from our godly emperor? These guys have the like this. Let's not use this. We can we can bomb them. And then a normal zero. The sky is like an ocean. And we can we just shoot those guys dead. Let's do that. 
They are suddenly out of uh, ammo as well. They don't stand a chance. Just in strike range. One down. Good. How many more to go? We bring the storm. Firestorm. We are the swarm. Yeah, I mean, on the other hand, we don't. I, I think we shouldn't waste the afterburner. Let's not waste the afterburner like that. Imperial air Because service. who knows what's going to happen? We can just stay here. In unity is our strength. Like this. But we can actually send our planes. If the battleships are the muscle of the Imperial Navy, we are its brain. Let's send the planes forward. The enemy won't see us coming. The Imperial fleet knows no defeat. Approaching. And then we, we are actually in strike we have range more guns for anything. Than the entire enemy fleet, if you include aircraft. Approaching. Be careful with the bombs. And they can't see us approaching. Either, so it should be fine. We will not let the Emperor down. This one is zero. Let's put Are there any here. targets? Like so. All systems. Operation. We've got the dive bomber. You go there. Here we come. And another we another are the zero swarm. here. The enemy is close. Like so. So that's our air fleet. Everybody's deployed, yeah. So, checking everything. Didn't forget anything. Do you require assistance? Yeah, you, you Do you require are assistance? In defensive position. Do you fine. require assistance? We serve Good. faithfully. Yeah. yeah, and I think you just should stay there. So, okay. Yeah, that was a little bit sad. Uh. But well, so and then here, our guys. The samurai are always ready to do battle. There's a road here, okay? So let's follow the road, and then we can. This here is a swamp. Let's go we here. We are going to win the fight. And Could you locate the guys, additional targets? Yeah, the artillery, okay, good. Let's go there. We will you die guys. if necessary. I'm ready to blast just some armor. Here, okay. We are so ready you to guys serve. take the mountain. We are going to win the fight. There's a defensive area, okay, and there's no one here. Well, maybe we should actually... We have so much income. We will not let the Emperor down. Verify Let's check out what's going location. on here on the island. Just to have some information. Oh, they don't... This is infantry marines. They don't have any anti-air on the island yet. That was not smart. They have a steward with another browning. Oh, and this is something. Artillery M7 priest. Okay. Mobile artillery and more artillery there. And these here, they are all marines. Yeah, okay. War is our so time. you guys. Yes, Commander. Okay, you need to get forward. The samurai are on the march. We are ready to serve. You guys also. Yeah, I mean, there were there. There seem, doesn't seem to be any further uh, landing we are going force to win the fight. in the vicinity. We are ready to serve. So we should we should defend uh, the city, obviously. Victory will Let's be ours. There. Oh, actually, they can go into the city next turn. So actually, you guys um, on the we could go on the mountains actually, or on these mountains. City and mountains, and then our 
our heavy guys stay here as a reserve or go here. Although we don't want them to be inside the uh, artillery range. Defense 3, camouflage 1 with the mountains and this is just 2-1 in the forest. So, um, But there is a river here though. Which means that this would actually be a better position for defense. But maybe we should let them come into the forest and the further away we are the better. Ah no, we need to get we, we are going uh, directly into the city. Uh, who knows? Maybe some We are something. going to win the fight. Let's go into the city. Let's deny them the victory. Our spirit is strong, you guys. our blades are sharp. Go here. Yeah. Okay. They will entrench themselves quickly anyway. Okay then, so I think that's it. Yeah, they can just stay there and entrench inside of the city. We are descendants of the noble samurai. Imperial artillery at your command. Oh, there's, oh yeah, that's our artillery, okay. Yeah, that's actually good. So you guys. Uh, actually, you can't shoot over the mountain though. And we don't want to be caught here. But they know now that we are there. Oh, by the way, let's oh yeah, one, three. Okay, shot. let's attack them. Let's make a daring attack. Just so they know. One, three in the rain. Just so they know that they are in trouble now. For the Emperor! Oh, that should have been three. Well then. That costs us two prestige points. My life for the Emperor! We will make sure and that the enemy so aircraft our artillery. do not pester you. One, two, three, four. By the way, their supply situation is okay. The samurai are always ready to do battle. So I think we should be here and then we can gradually go forward. And then we can we have we have a line of fire there. But they don't see us either, so then it should be fine. When so the artillery right is moving, there. it means all the enemy troops are dead. And then we have concentrated artillery fire from here. I would have rather been like somewhere here, but uh, that's too dangerous. And we can't shoot over the mountain, I think, right? Or can we? Can we shoot at them? No, we can't, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Despite howitzer, can shoot over rough forest and city. Yeah, that's the thing, but not over mountains. Okay. So let's just go here into the forest. Artillery on the march. Like there, and then next turn we go forward and then we shoot there. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, otherwise, the Empire can sleep peacefully. You can stay while we there, keep watch. oh, you guys. Yeah, you can rather go. Oh, it's mountains, forest. Yeah, you can rather go into the city here. Good timing is not about being hasty, but you about don't, being you on don't time. Even have no one gave you any transport, okay? So some the Empire some poor soldiers have to carry you around. And you guys, yeah, you can actually go here. Good timing is not about being hasty. But Although about I have the feeling time. that unless something is coming from here, they won't have much to do. Okay, the so you guys, are always you ready stay there to and do entrench battle. yourselves. And the seaport. Okay, so that concludes this episode. The warriors Thank you of the very sky much for watching. I hope you like this. And um, please do share your thoughts. As always, I'm sure I'm not the only one who would appreciate any shared knowledge on on uh, the real world history. If you have any good links, in addition to those that I will provide under the videos, and please do share them, or any experiences you have, that would be great. Because I personally am a German land lover, so for me everything is very ex uh, exciting here, especially like with the naval warfare and stuff. 
Um, and for me personally, it's a nice opportunity to learn something. Also, as I'm kind of a science fiction buff as well, I think actually that naval warfare or like like just uh, the, the living on a huge ship like a carrier, for example, you know, that's probably coming closest to any uh, spaceships that we will have in the future. Once we are smart enough to rather use the resources of our uh, solar system instead of destroying our ecosystems on our little planet here because uh, like I like to think in terms of volume and uh, if we think just just our solar system how little percentage is actually livable and has a very nice ecosphere like our planet earth then it doesn't make any sense at all that we are destroying our little planet and our only means of survival basically um, at this point especially and we are not using all the resources all the metals all the stuff that we have uh, on the other planets in our system right and all the asteroids and stuff so yeah and so far that's very interesting for me and i'm uh, at the moment i'm also uh, watching some videos and other stuff like also like on the organization of life on such a big ship you know it's like li like a little city and i know that like on a u.s carrier for example they also have a cinema or several even and other stuff like that um so it's like a little city yeah yeah very interesting so thanks for watching again i would appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you never ever have to miss an episode again so next time bye bye